Grand Rising, loved ones. Welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today, I want to talk to you guys about the art of visualization. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before, but what that entails is just simply taking whatever ideas you have and just thinking about them, just visualizing your future, what you want. You know, that's the first step in putting it into motion. It's also a very, very, very integral part of manifestation. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but if you didn't, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> but anyway, no, no, no. For real though. Seriously. A lot of people, including myself, have a tendency at times to always, you know, think the worst or expect the worst. That's just human nature. We can't really help that. You know what I mean? That's human nature. However, once you become aware of that, then it's up to you to control it. No matter how much of a natural, um, eternal optimist you are, shit happens sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you just think to the negative of things, especially when you used to hear a no or you've been going through a lot of bullshit in life or whatever. You kind of get used to that. So people have a tendency to think the worst. But no, when you're visualizing, you're going to say, fuck all that. You're going to put all those negative thoughts or whatever to the side because you're just going to remind yourself of what you really know that's facts in your heart. You're going to visualize the things that you want, not your circumstances, not where you are right then in that situation. But this right here, visualization, especially when you are in your worst, darkest times, it's the best time to do that because, you know, you always need to have that pot of gold at the end of the storm. You always want to have that light at the end of the dark tunnel and stuff. So visualization will help you to have that. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just think about the things that you want to manifest, the things that you want to achieve. Picture, envision yourself in that boss position. Envision yourself as that CEO of that company. Envision yourself with that, um, that five car garage, that home with the picket fence, the dogs, the 2.5, whatever you want. Sit there, think about it in detail, in full detail. You always ask for certain things. You ask the universe, God, whoever, for certain things all the time. But sometimes you need to be specific. And how can you really be specific when trying to manifest things or ask what you want if you don't really know what you want? That's why this exercise right here will help you to know what the fuck you want. You feel me? You visualize it. Close your eyes. I mean, some people do that when they're meditating. You know, during meditation, a lot of times they tell you to envision you're somewhere tropical or just somewhere where you find enjoyment that would make you relax and serene and whatnot. Visualization is kind of the same thing, except, you know, you want to do it with your success. Basically, with your dreams, with your goals, with your aspirations, in full detail. Okay? You paint this picture called life. That's what people need to realize. You live the life that you choose. Okay? If you can't see it, if you can't dream it, then how can you do it? Riddle me that. Exactly. That's what I was saying too. That's what I was saying too. So oh, I took a little note, a little re reminder for y'all. Stay positive. Stay positive. Change starts with your mindset. And that is very, very true. Change starts with your mindset. If you, every time you see something you want or you think of something good, as right after that, you be like, nah, it never me. It probably won't happen, this and that. Then of course it's not gonna happen. But if you think about something, like if you could see somebody driving a Bentley down the street and you sit there and you're like, yeah, that's me. And you could sit there and visualize yourself driving that shit. One day you could be driving that shit. That's the first step. That's the first step. If you could see yourself doing it, then that is the first step. And that's the thing, people, we have to be realistic. What are your expectations? What are your limitations? Are you willing to push yourself? 
you want to visualize yourself being a top rapper, you know what I mean, a famous movie star or whatever, but are you practicing? Are you practicing your craft? Are you working on it? Okay? After you visualize it, you got to start taking the steps next. Right? Manifest. Everybody thinks manifestation is just speech. It's not just speech. It's actions as well. People think visualization is just thoughts. It's not just thoughts. It's actions as well. You see, they all fold into each other like a braid. Boom, boom, boom. All intertwined. That's what you need to know. Okay? So practice the art of visualization. See in your mind's eye where you want to go what you want to be, where you want to be, what you want to achieve. Think positive. Think positive. It all starts with the mind. It all starts with the mind. Everything. You do those steps and I guarantee you, your whole perspective will change. Trust me. With that being said, you guys have a great day. And of course, I love you.